All right, guys, what have we got here today? Well, I want to show you my newest plane in my collection. This thing is a beast. This is the Volantix Phoenix. It's a, uh, a 3S LiPo motorized glider, I guess you'd call it. It has a 2,000 millimeter wingspan, seven, almost 79 inches, by far the largest plane I've ever had. Now, I will tell you, I did maiden this the other day, a couple days ago, but uh, it was some really gray skies, so I'm waiting for a little bit better weather uh, to show you guys this in flight. I know my last couple of videos have been kind of gray skies. Well, if you've ever been to SoCal, um, this time of year, they call it June gloom. We get a lot of uh, gray skies in the morning. doesn't usually burn off till later. I usually fly first thing in the morning before I go to work. And uh, so usually by the time I get home, the wind is picked up. Um, and so I'm mailing any good flight footage. But I'm going to show you this thing. Uh, hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll take it up for a flight. Hopefully when the sun comes out in the morning. And uh, But anyways, I just want to show you this plane. This plane is really, really cool. It flies great, just like you'd expect. I mean, a plane with this type of a large wingspan is going to be pretty easy to fly normally. What's unique about this plane is the fuselage is like made out of some type of plastic or I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's not foam, which is super cool. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see, you know, what the durability is going to be on it, but it's not actually foam. And the canopy has a unique uh, way that it comes off. And I don't know if I can do it with one hand. I'm holding my phone just while I'm doing this, but the canopy Usually you're used to the uh, the canopies being held in, usually with magnets, or sometimes you get like the spring-loaded, uh, you know, tension clip. And this one has actually just got little dimples um, that hold the canopy in place, but it actually seems to hold it really secure. I'll see if I can get this off with one hand. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Let's see. Let's give this a shot. So you have to, yeah, there we go. So you see these, I don't know if you can see these little, little things here, little knobs, and they just kind of going pop into place there and I was a little bit um and you can see my I know I talk about them all the time but my FR Sky S6R I got them in pretty much every plane I have now I love these receivers but anyways um and then you just pop this thing back in place um so and it's a little bit difficult there we go one hand but anyways, it's, it holds on pretty securely, surprisingly. I'm kind of curious how that's going to hold up over time, if it's going to, you know, get worn out and not hold in so good anymore. But anyways, but this thing has just got such a great presence in the air when you're flying it because it's just so damn huge. And uh, so, you know, this isn't obviously, you know, this is depends on what type of flying you want to do. I got over 20 planes, I think, in this garage right now. But, you know, this is a great plane for just, you know, get, catching some thermals, catching a little bit of wind. Or you know, what I like to do, too, because a lot of times I fly in low wind, is I'll just put it up in the air, shut off the motor, and, you know, glide around for two or three minutes. Because this thing will glide quite a long time. So, and like I said, I, I'll get you guys some uh, some footage when the, uh, the weather's a little bit better outside. So, I got this on a uh, running on a 3S 2200. Uh, a lot of guys say they have a hard time... With it being um, nose heavy with like a, a 14 or a 1500 3S, I don't know. I got a 2200 3S all the way forward, um, and it, it it's like balances right where it's supposed to. They, they got the, the CG marks are, are already on the wings below, which is great. I always love when, when companies do that. So, but I got a 3S 2200. Um, it's only giving me about four and a half, five minutes of flight time. You know, of course, it depends. I mean, that's when the motor's on. When I'm when you're gliding, obviously you're not using hardly any battery, but actual uh, motor time I'm doing about four and a half to five minutes. But again, obviously it depends on how you're flying, and that's on a 3s2200. For some reason, I seem to fly faster than a lot of other guys. I guess I like speed. I t tend to burn my batteries out faster. I hear guys all the time flying planes that I have saying, "Oh yeah, you know I went seven eight minutes." I'm going, God, I barely do five minutes on mine. So, but anyways. I just wanted to get you guys take check this out. This is the uh, Phoenix Volantix. Uh, it's available at Hobby King, also Banggood. Oh, that's everything too. Uh, Hobby King currently, as of the time of this recording, they're selling for like one twenty six in the U.S. I had a ten percent off coupon, so I actually got this thing shipped out the door for one hundred and fourteen bucks. Seriously, one hundred and fourteen bucks for just a huge plane 
which it's like, I don't know how they make any money on this stuff, but uh, it's just, I think it's a great value. Uh, I will let you know how, let you know how this uh, fuselage holds up. I think it's going to hold up well, and um, but we'll see over time. And another thing that this thing has, which is really cool, it has a really, really uh, nice big wheel. So for landing, um, and it's really solid. So I've been really impressed with it so far. Like I said, I've only got one or two flights, maybe just one actually. But so far, I'm real impressed with it. Oh, and then another thing too: these wings, they just snap into place. They got, um, I, I do it, but I can't with one hand. They got, well, maybe I can. They got these. See this little plastic thing. That just, the wing just snaps into place, and then to take it apart, you just push in the end of that plastic clip, and it comes up, and it comes out. The wing comes out. So, great for, uh, you know, transportation, because obviously a plane this big, you're going to need to take it apart usually. So, I barely got stuffed in my truck. Luckily, my flying field is only a couple of minutes from my house. So, I actually put it in my truck the way you see it. Barely got it in, but if I don't have to take planes apart, that's always preferable. So, anyways, guys, uh, hey, if you guys like these videos, uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe, share, you know, get the channel to grow a little bit. Let me know that you guys like what I'm putting out. If you got anything, any, uh, you know, constructive criticism, good or bad, you know, let me know in the comment section. I always appreciate that. Anyways, take a deep breath, RC. You guys have a great one, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.